Hello, Rob from Fountain Pen Journey. Different sort of video for you today. Um, a few days ago, one of my viewers asked me a question, and they said, I'd really be interested to see how you store your fountain pens. So I couldn't decide on a format for, uh, for the video for YouTube, so I thought, well, a slideshow is probably going to be the simplest way. So I'm going to do this fairly quickly. It's not going to be an extensive thing. It's not pretty. Um, I have to warn you that uh, warn you um, that it isn't a pretty thing. So let's start off. So these wooden cabinets, very cheap, very inexpensive things available. I can't even remember where the where the uh, these came from. Um, bought many many years ago. Mm, I don't know, early two thousands. Um, probably from just Argos or some cheap furniture retailer. They, they didn't cost a lot of money. Um, they have been stained with wood stain because they were just plain sort of raw wood, sanded. Um, and I have added, have added brass handles to them. So these are the primary things that I store my pens in. The drawers, the drawers are simple, they slide out, there's no runners, um, and it's what I can fit into them, really, de de depicts what uh, what can go in there. So here, here's one of the drawers open. Looks a bit of a mess, but there is some sort of method to this. Now, maybe it is because I'm a collector or a hoarder, I don't know, depends on how you view it. Um, but this pen drawer consists of Caveco pens mainly, there are one or two other ones in there, but it's a Caveco drawer, as you can see there's a Lamy snuck in there, things like that. Next drawer, Caveco and Noodler's pens, so there are one or two other things, I've popped in a few Rang uh, Ranga pens in there as well for the time being, so it is specifically organised per drawer thereabouts. Um, this next drawer, this is a deeper drawer. In here I have one or two inks. Uh, in the top left hand corner you can see some Krishna inks in boxes. Uh, I have a few cartridges. But this is my spares drawer. This is where I have, for example, you can see the bulb syringe, plastic cups, silicone grease, spare converters, um, syringes, things like that. So, loop, all, all of my stuff like brass shim, wet and dry uh, paper, things like that. That's all in this drawer, so I know where it is. I can just slide out this drawer, take it to where I need to use it, and it's all good to go. Next drawer, ink drawer, all sorts of things in there. Fortunately, uh, pretty much every box and bottle of ink fits in there without issue. Pilot Hiroshi Zuku inks. Not a chance, they'll never fit into that drawer. Um, but there you go, everything pretty much does. So, drawer full of ink, once again, if I'm refilling pens, just slide this out. Take it to the uh, kitchen where I fill my pens. And I've got a selection of inks there, all in one, uh, one box, if you like, in this drawer that slides out. Bit of a mishmash, one or two uh, sort of... Schaefer bits and pieces, there's mainly uh, Schaefer no nonsense pens in this drawer. So there's the uh, front view of another set of drawers which I uh, which I use. Um, pen tray fits into these drawers, so that's useful for organising certain things. Mishmash of all sorts of different pens, really random selection of mainly Chinese but all very inexpensive pens in there. Uh, Pen BBS boxes. I tend to keep my pen packaging. Um, I don't know why it seems a shame to throw it away. Sometimes I think, well, if you collect pens, you might as well have the packaging to go with it. It's increasing the value, the resale value, but mm, end of the day, pen BBS, I don't think it, they're ever going to be that collectible. Uh, so fortunately, those boxes do fit into the deeper drawers. Box of nibs, bits and pieces, a couple of other pen BBS pens in boxes. Alarmy drawer, so Alarmy cartridges, Alarmy um, pens, and another Alarmy drawer. So 
do like uh, tin in there as well. So that is um, that is my collection of uh, drawers. So during my everyday carry, pens in use at home, uh, I have this copy mug, which I use to keep the uh, pens that I'm currently using at home in. So I love copy things, and this happens to be um, yeah perfect for that uh, that purpose. I also have, and these things are available from Amazon. This cost about £23 uh, from Amazon. And this is a bamboo set of drawers. It's for, it's for on top of a desk. So it's a desktop organiser, basically. Uh, it's not a full-size cabinet. So these drawers, not very big, but really, really inexpensive and really, really useful for stuffing pens into, as you can see from... This photo so all Chinese pens they all go in there there's all sorts of stuff there's wing songs Jin Hao's Bauer all sorts of pens and they just go in there draw slide out you can see in here we've got um, there's a diplomat uh, Magnum uh, Lambie 2 3059 Lamy Safari there's a wing song by the look of it. Lamy Necks, La, uh, Jin Hao 159. So, yeah, good general purpose. I can put the pens in there. Uh, more wing songs, Jin Hao's, things like that. So, really useful. So, what else do I use? Well, I use this thing. It's a pen case. Now, I bought this from Amazon and I think it cost me. 25 or 30 pounds back in 2017. I can't find these pen cases on there very often, but when you do, they tend to be astronomically highly priced. Um, the pen cases like this sometimes retail for anything from 50 to 100 pounds. Um, and this was what I originally purchased to put my pens in. But it didn't take me long to actually fill it. So this pen case, this pen carry case, whatever you want to call it. It's got a metal handle that's on hinges uh, and little latches. A bit like a briefcase and it opens up to hold. Let me just count this up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 so it carries 30 pens um and there is this sort of plastic uh flocked um flocked um material in there either side with elastic um bungee uh basically across the uh the length of it to hold the pens in place and it's really good the only thing is that with the heavier pens when you open up the lid or sides or whatever you want to call them of this case sometimes the weight of the pens can actually pull the um pull the whole say <laughs> whole section of the pens down with it with the weight so i might have to try and re um well glue it in place basically but this is really good quality really useful so in this pen case this is a bit of a weird one because as you can probably see i've got some really cheap pens in there and also some more expensive ones so this has become, if you like, my collector's case. So it starts off with some of the earliest fountain pens that I bought on my fountain pen journey. So in there, there is the Jin Hao uh, 1200 Dragon Pen, silver version. Uh, the blue and white porcelain Jin Hao pen that um, I bought. One or two other Jin Hao's. And then at the bottom was when I started to really start collecting um the European pens and I happen to start off my fountain pen collecting with if you like European pens with German manufacturers and I really liked Pelican so that is almost all Pelican fountain pens quite a lot of them are vintage um, in fact most of them are vintage I didn't get any further than that I collected the vintage pens and kind of that was when my Pelican journey ran out of steam and I ended up collecting Lamy pens instead. So 
bit of an interesting one from that point of view. So that sort of catalogues the early days of my fountain pen journey. So that's how I store my pens. I hope you found it useful. Um, basically, I'm not one. I mean, my pens are not in the main expensive pens, so I don't need to molly coddle them and wrap them up in sort of acid free tissue paper and things like that. No, I just store them as you would do with stationery. Obviously I'm careful, I don't sort of put them in a position where they're going to get bashed, uh, knocked together too much, things like that. So that's how I store my pens. Simple, effective, cheap, a bit like the pens. So thanks very much for watching, hope you found it useful and I'll see you next time. Bye.